Hi everybody, welcome to this unilateral workout. Today we're going to work one side of the body at a time. This is really wonderful because it helps you notice any inconsistencies or imbalances in muscle that you have in your body and also just really helps you hone in on working strong through one side of your body at a time. So let's get started. Just to warm up, let's start with some footwork. Heels on the bar, parallel, about hip width distance apart. In this time of warm up, I want you to think about a couple of things. You're going to squeeze in through the pelvic floor, lifting up through the pelvic floor, engaging the lower abdominals. Your spine is in a neutral position, so it's not completely imprinted into the carriage, and it's not arched in any way, it's somewhere in the middle. Shoulders are down and back, pressing away from the head and the neck. Exhaling on the way out, inhaling on the way home. Starting to feel the quads warm up, but I also want you to think about using your glutes and using the hamstrings to pull you back home. Good, and we're gonna come to the toes now into a first position. Heels are touching, knees uh, are tracking right over the first and second toe. Inhale and exhale away. Squeezing through the inner thighs, pelvic floor is still engaged, core is still engaged, lower abs are working, ribs are like a corset drawing in. Squeezing through the inner thighs, wrapping under the glutes. Good, and stay out this time, and we're just gonna begin to prance in first position, keeping the hips stable as you do this. Still engage slightly through all those areas in the core. Good, bring your feet parallel, and continue to prance. Heels under the bar, just this little stretch here. Stretching one calf out at a time. And go ahead and switch. Good, both heels under the bar and slowly coming back in. And last little warm up we're gonna do here. Heels on the bar in second position um, and pressing away. Exhale as you press away. Inhale, come home. Pelvic floor is engaged, lifting up. Core is engaged, lower abs are engaged. Shoulders moving away from the ears. Really squeezing through the hamstrings as you come home. Waking up the whole body here. Next time you come in, you're just going to come up to your toes, so a little forced arch here, and press away. Staying out this time, stabilizing through the uh, hips, and we're going to prance in a second position. under the bar and come all the way home. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change my spring load to two reds and we're gonna begin our single leg work. I'm gonna start with the leg closest to you so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this right leg is just going to be in tabletop of nice 90 degree. With the left foot, you wanna have the heel on the bar and we're just gonna to start to press away. Now this is much lighter but we're going to do quite a few reps of everything, so you'll feel it by the end, I promise. And we're going to bring the leg out and back to tabletop. 
exhaling on the way in, using the core, you'll start to feel a little bit more core working on that right side as you're using the core. Okay, now we're going to come out and up. We're going to flex down, point up. Waking up through the hamstring on the right leg. And begin to develop a that leg. Can flex on the way down, point on the way up. And one more. Good. And let's go ahead and switch legs. So starting again with that left leg, just in tabletop, pressing away. Here on the lighter spring, you can actually feel how you would engage your glute of the working leg even more. So definitely work into that. Think about keeping your hips stable, your pelvis is stable as you're doing this. And let's move in and out. Exhaling on your way back. And now we're gonna move to the straight leg variation. Pointing up, flexing down. Make sure you keep breathing. And moving to that developé. Things to be cautious of here are your knees moving in and out. Really trying to stabilize throughout the whole leg, from the hip all the way down to the foot. And last one, and coming in. Okay, now we're going to do um, move back to the right leg, but this time I want you to have your toes on the bar, heels in first position. Um, we're going to come to a regular tabletop, so parallel table tabletop, but your left leg is turned out. And we're going to just go through that same sequence again. This time you're going to use your turnout, and you're going to come back to the tabletop, turning out to 45, back to the tabletop. Staying stable through the hips. Good, and now up and down. Pointing on the way up, flexing on the way down. Get a couple more here, and then we're going to switch sides. All the way back in, back into your first position, and let's switch legs. So parallel tabletop with the left leg. Exhale as you press away. You should start to feel all the little muscles in your feet beginning to wake up and tire just slightly. Okay, in and out. Turning the leg out as we kick out to a 45. Stay out at a 45 and up and down. Flexing down, pointing up. A few more. Last two. And one. Good. Your legs should feel nice and warm at this point. All right, moving just a touch away from the shoulder pads, we're gonna move into bridging. You're gonna keep those two reds. So with bridging, you wanna make sure that you engage the pelvic floor, lifting the elevator of the pelvic floor up. Uh, lower abs are engaged, ribs are engaged. And we're going to press through the heels in a parallel position. Inhale, and on your exhale, 
rolling up one vertebrae at a time, keeping the carriage as still as you absolutely can. Exhale at the, uh, inhale at the top here, and exhale rolling down. Doing a couple more like this, and then we're gonna move into single leg bridges. Good, last one with the double leg. Exhaling down. Good, and let's use the right leg first. So I'm just going to point that up to the ceiling at a 90 degree angle. You can keep it flexed, you can point it, whatever feels good to you. Pointing it, I'm going to really engage through my whole leg. Same thing, flex. Engage through your whole leg, squeezing through the pelvic floor, the lower abs, and making sure that now that you have just one leg on the foot bar, that you keep those hips nice and stable. So inhale and exhale up. Exhaling down. Inhale. Exhale on your way up. Stay up. Inhale and press back. Using the left hamstring as you come home. Last one. And coming all the way home and rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Good, let's switch directions. Right heel's on the bar, left heel is up towards the ceiling, leg is fully engaged, shoulders are down and back, inhale. Exhale, rolling up. Now you may find that one side is easier than the other, you may find that one side is stronger than the other, and that's what we're really working on in this um, class is just really focusing on where the strength is and where the weaknesses are and where you need to really just push into it to kind of get your body as even as possible. Okay, the next one, we're going to roll up, we're gonna stay up and we're gonna press away. Inhale out, exhale in. Squeezing through the right hamstring. up and roll down with control. Good job. Go ahead and shake your legs out and come on up. Okay, we're going to move to a red and a blue spring and we're going to do some feet in straps. We're going to do both legs first and then we'll move to unilateral exercises. So both feet in straps lifting and lowering through the legs. Inhale up, exhaling down. Think about holding a dollar bill between your thighs and not letting it go. Next time you come up to 90, we're gonna turn out. Same thing, really using those muscles to wrap around, squeeze on the way down. Inhale up, exhale down. Still engaging through the core here, still thinking about that neutral position with your spine. Next time you come up, I want you to turn in from the hips so you're internally rotating. to a 45, we're just going to move into those single legs. So one leg bends, one leg is straight. Keeping the hips stable, this is going to kind of just open you up and get you a little bit more stable for those single leg exercises I will do after this. Inhale out, exhale. 
exhale as you come back to that 45 degree angle. Good, coming to your 45, I like, we're gonna do some leg circles real quick, just to make sure our hips are nice and warm. Don't be afraid to breathe, really breathe when you're working any kind of Pilates at all. The more breath work you do, the stronger your body works, the more you heat up, the more you can strengthen and loosen your muscles. The more your body works. Coming up to parallel and let's switch directions. Exhaling as the legs come together. so that you can just keep one red spring on. Roll on up, take that blue off, and we'll do one red spring. Okay, before we get started, make sure that your body is as straight as possible. But what you wanna avoid here is that you start to tilt to one side or you allow the uh, spring load to do the work for you. You really want to make sure that you're using this leg strongly and evenly with the strap but you're also going to be using the left leg the leg without the strap and you're going to start to feel that in your core so first off let's engage through the pelvic floor engage through the lower abdominals knit the ribs together inhale and exhale now if you've never done this kind of work this is going to feel like really unstable that's where your core comes into play use your core Lifting and lowering, taking advantage of the stretch on the way up, but then really make sure you're engaging through the glutes, engaging through the hamstrings on the way down. You're gonna take it up a notch here, and the left leg's gonna come 45 and up to a 90. So essentially, we're doing the same thing. It's like you're imagining you have a strap on the left leg, even though you don't. You should start to really feel the mid core working those mid abdominals keeping the pelvis stable as stable as you can now you can work here in parallel or you can work turned out I like to work parallel for a little bit um, because I feel that you do use different muscles and we can go ahead and turn out and see what that feels like to do our frogs. This is difficult. Keep your heels together and go slow. If you need to put your hands out to, to help your body know where 90 degrees is, that's fine. You're going to really start to feel this through your abs and your hip flexor if you're not engaging through your abs. So make sure you're fully engaged through the abs. Use your breath to help you. It's getting hard. Three more. I'm shaking, are you? All right, <laughs> bring that left leg to the foot bar and let's go ahead and stretch. Parallel first. And coming out to a wide second using your hand to give you even more of a stretch and using that left hand to help open up through the left leg. Wiggling side to side if you need or staying static, whatever feels good to you. Good, coming into a half happy baby here. back out and stretching through the IT band.
come back to center, and we're going to switch legs. So again, you might notice inconsistencies in strength depending on your side. So first off, right leg in tabletop, left leg is parallel, and we're just lifting and lowering. Engaging through the core, inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. Stay at a nice steady pace here. And go ahead and turn out now. As you exhale, really use the core. Two more. Good, and let's come to that 45. Establish yourself in that frog, and let's move into that. Do your best to, on the right side, really keep everything engaged so that the weight of the spring does not pull you left. Your pelvis is nice and even. more. Oh, good. And bring that right leg to the foot bar and let's stretch. <sighs> Grabbing onto the strap to increase the stretch if you'd like. coming out to your second position, stretching through the inner thigh, pressing the right knee down as well. Good, and bringing it across the body through the IT band, through the glute. Good, and coming back out to second to do that happy baby stretch because I forgot on this side. Good, and go ahead and put both of your feet back in the straps. I'm gonna do a quick exercise. We're going to think about stretching through the inner thighs, but we're also going to use a dynamic stretch. So we're going to keep the carriage exactly where it is. We're gonna come out to second, you're going to exhale up. You're squeezing through the pelvic floor, through the abs, keeping everything nice and tight. Ribs drawing in like a corset. One more. And stretch. Grabbing onto these straps, and if you need to, rocking from side to side. This is all about the stretch, but your legs will become tired fairly quickly because we're going to be using some resistance in those four pulls up to the center. Okay, again. Last one. And come into your stretch. Pressing down. And go ahead and grab your long box now. We're gonna do single arm pulls. So we're gonna stay with that red spring and we're going to actually come and sit down. And we're going to sit down onto the box here. 
tabs are against the um, box, the edge of the box here. And instead of using the straps, we're actually going to grab onto the little V-rings or the ropes. You're gonna roll the shoulders down and back. Even though you're sitting, you're gonna still engage the core. You're going to stand up nice and straight, and we're just going to do single arm pulls. So engaging through the back of the shoulder, engaging through the scapula here. Exhale on your way back. Sitting up nice and tall. Arms are really close to the sides as you pull back. Four more. That's four. Okay, now we're just going to slightly uh, have a variation on the exercise. Still holding on to the D-rings if you'd like, or if this is getting a bit hard, you can move to the uh, hand straps there. We're going to have the elbows pointing outward, and we're going to do the same thing, pulling back. Making sure the shoulders stay down and back so you're not really stressing out through the traps. Standing up nice and tall. And making sure that you're still working on the release of the exercise. So you're going slowly here, using the muscles. A few more. Swing around to the other side. I'm staying at one red here and I'm just scooting back a little bit. Um, I'm gonna grab my short straps and I'm almost like I'm sitting on a horse kind of. Um, you want to have a little bit of your weight forward just um, so that it's a little comfortable to sit. You're, you're still engaging your abs, you're not completely in a resting position. Starting at the hips, we're going to press up to shoulder height. As dancers, we need to make sure that our arms are nice and strong. So helpful when you're doing any partnering work, but also just for your own stability as you're doing any kind of corps de bras. Resisting on the way back. Next time you come out, we're going to move the arms to a second position and squeeze in. Come down, press out, bring the arms out, and squeeze through the chest. If this is getting difficult for you, you can move down to the long straps. Couple more. Last one. Good, and just stretching through the chest just slightly. Okay, after that short break, we're just going to come into a forward press. So palms are facing the floor. We're really starting to feel these shoulders working after all these exercises. <sighs> Squeezing through the chest as you press forward. <sighs> Two more. Sitting up tall, good, come back in. I want you to take the long straps now. We're gonna move into some arm circles. So these are staying in front of your body. You're not letting your arms wing back. Sit up tall, use that core to help you sit up tall. And reverse directions. Ooh, this is burning.
Use that exhale to help you. Last one. Good job. All right. Go ahead and put your straps down. And we're gonna move in to some overhead presses. Okay, go ahead and switch your spring load to just one blue. Chest is off the box, right where you would have the bottom of your bra or heart rate monitor. We're going to move into single overhead presses. So I'm gonna use my left hand first, um, and I'm going to have it uh, as if my hands were nice and wide on the bar, um, but I'm going to have my right arm out, um, extended out, and we're going to really start to use the back in this exercise. So make sure that your core is engaged, your legs are strong, feet and energy is shooting towards the back of the room, arms out to the side and press back. My left elbow is out to the side of the room as well. Last one. Good, coming in, we're just gonna keep alternating here. So same thing on the other side. Make sure that your core is engaged. Your back is working, but you wanna make sure that you haven't let your abs go. That's gonna help you stabilize through the core and press away. My gaze is just slightly in front of me. I'm not arching, I'm not focusing all the way down, just slightly in front. Energy is still moving through my feet and legs. Couple more. And last one. Good job. Now we're gonna move back to the first arm, but we're gonna have our elbows down. So this is going to really press into the triceps. So you can keep that right arm out to the side, if you like, or you can bring it back behind you here. Still engaged through the lower abs, still engaged. Pelvic floor lifting up, legs nice and active, pointing to the back of the room. Two more. Good, and go ahead and switch sides. Elbow pointing down to the ground. Two more. All right, nice job. Take both your hands to the bar and just take a little stretch, letting your lower body relax for a moment. Good. Coming off the box, we're going to bring it to a short box position. I'm gonna keep it on one blue just because I'm not really going to be doing anything with the carriage. Um, I'm gonna use the foot strap here and we're gonna be doing some obliques. Facing you first, I have my right hip down. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the box here. I'm gonna have my left foot in the foot strap and I'm going to start to lean down, exhale and engage through the obliques up. Now you can use the arm and come up. or you can just keep it on the hip here or down at your side. A few more. And last one. Good. Now I want you to just take your right hand and put it on the um, headrest 
and give yourself a nice side stretch here. Mm, feels good. Okay, other side. So now I have my uh, right foot under the foot strap, left foot is even with the edge of the box here. Using the obliques to pull up, using your exhale to help you pull up, and your choice, having the arm help you, or just for an added energy focus out. Hand on the hip, or just down at your side. Just a few more. And last one. Taking the left hand to the headrest and a lovely stretch over to the side. And come up. Great, go ahead and take the box off. Staying at one blue spring, you are going to be using um, the front foot strap um, as this sideline series. I'm going to come down onto my side. I'm going to pull the strap so that the long strap is on my left foot. And I'm just going to lay my head down onto my arm. My hips are stacked here. My bottom leg is slightly active, but I'm not doing anything crazy with it. It's just kind of there. I'm going to come in and press away. When I look down, I can see that my foot is the same height as my foot bar. This should be engaging through the glutes and really where that glute and hamstring tie in together, a place where you need to be really nice and strong. Hips are staying level. I'm not letting my knee come in or turning out. It's just staying parallel. Core is still nice and strong to help you stay in this stable position, not rolling forward, not rolling back. Again, this is a light spring load, but you will start to feel this after we move through the different amount of reps. Okay, now we're just coming up to the ceiling and pulling down towards the foot bar. Inhale up, exhale down. Still keeping that core engaged, trying your best to keep your hips stacked. and now we're going to come forward. You can come just a bit higher than 90 degrees and pressing back. Forward, inhale, exhale, press back. Next one, we're going to come forward, keep the carriage where it is, and come up and down. Start to feel this one. Come all the way up, stay up. Now we're gonna move into leg circles. You will move this top hip back a little bit just because of the structure of how the hip works, but you don't want to really fall backwards um, when you're coming up and around. You don't want to lay back like this. Core is engaged. Good, and let's just go ahead and stretch this leg. And if you want for some stability, you can just rest your right toes. Now here I am rolling my hip back just a little bit just to get a nice stretch. Flexing and pointing. Feels great. Okay, let's move on to the other side. Coming up and then same thing. Heading over to the other side. Arm comes through, under the head, you're gonna lift your foot strap, 
pressing away on the foot bar, foot into the strap. And we're just pressing down, hips are even, parallel feet, pressing down to the foot bar. Squeezing through the glutes and right there where the hamstring meets the glutes. Turn out slightly and come up and down. Being mindful to try and keep the hips as stable as you can. Inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. come down to the foot bar, we're going to just bring the carriage, or bring the leg forward and back, staying about the height of the foot bar. Try not to do what I just did, and really be gentle on your way back, controlling still. Okay, staying out at a 90 degree angle. We're just going to come up and down. Press down to the foot bar and let's move into our leg circles. And last one. And let's go ahead and hold it up at the top, getting a nice stretch. Again, you can open your hip here just slightly if you need to. Flexing and pointing. Good. Take that foot strap off. And we're done with that. Okay, switching to one red. Grab your short loops and your feet are going to be resting on the headrest. And I have about a hand's distance between the edge of the carriage and my bum. Inhale, on your exhale, squeezing up through the pelvic floor, engaging the lower abs, and coming down. Just doing some little roll-ups here. Exhale up. Now that you've got the hang of what that feels like, we're gonna bring it to the side here. Staying on the side. squeezing in through the core. Everything's working. Obliques are working, but also your transverse abdominis, your lower abs, pelvic floor, keeping the, the pelvic area stable to the center. And switch to the other side. Two more. Good. Putting the uh, straps back on, straight through the leg, and just passively stretching into a hamstring stretch since we're here. All right, moving on to our last exercise for this class. Your spring load will be a red and a yellow, and we're going to alternate here. So my right foot is on the ground, my left foot is against the shoulder rest. I'm going to press back, 
bending at the right leg, coming up and plank, press back, bending at the right leg, coming up, pike. Exhale. So you are working through the core, especially on this right side, but you're also getting a nice hip flexor stretch in the left hip flexor. Let's do four more. Here's four. Three. Two. Make sure your shoulders are not up around your ears. And last one. Good, this time just go ahead and put that left knee down and have a little stretch through the hip flexor. Good, stretching through the hamstring and come in. Okay, moving to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing on that side. So left leg is just a little bit farther back than directly underneath my hip. Right foot is against the shoulder rest. We're gonna press back, bending through the left leg, come into a plank, press back, come into a pike. I'm exhaling as I move the carriage home. And let's do four more. really heats the whole body, which is wonderful. Two more. And last set. Holding your, hamst or holding your hip flexor stretch here. And just be mindful because this is more um, of a spring load than you would normally have stretching your hip flexor. So just be gentle, don't go all the way back full steam. Stretching through the hamstring now. Good. Coming all the way up. And then just our last stretch, we're gonna come to the uh, front of the reformer, holding on to the foot bar. Pulling away, I'm just in a wide second parallel. And just using this as a little bit of traction for your spine. Head can move from side to side. I want you to take the right hand and hold the left ankle and twist. Now take the left hand and hold the right ankle and twist. Good, arms come back to the foot bar, this time uh, touching in the center of the foot bar. Bend at the knees, a big plie, and roll up one vertebrae at a time, letting go of the foot bar at the very last second. Rolling all the way up, shoulders down and back, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this unilateral class and that you got um, some good benefit in both sides of your body from it. Let me know what you think down below. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.